If you're wondering what Ariana Grande has been up to the past couple of months, aside from releasing music and spending quarantine with her new boyfriend, she's also been buying up some real estate. Ari has actually been renting in Beverly Hills for years because she hadn't found her dream home yet. But it was clearly worth the wait because according to reports, the pop princess just bought a new multi-million dollar mansion in the Hollywood Hills and a second property in Montecito. We'll take a look at both of her new homes and more. We even found the listing. Ariana Grande is a singer, songwriter, and actress who I would consider one of the biggest female icons right now. Although she rose to fame with her role as Kat Valentine in the show Victorious, Ari really achieved mega stardom with her music career. Of course, with almost 200 million followers on Instagram alone, Ariana has taken her influence to social media and has been named one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Among her many awards and accolades including a Grammy, the pop princess was even named Woman of the Year in 2018 and declared the most accomplished female singer to debut in the 2010s. In recent news, fans are excited to hear that Ari has a new love interest, realtor Dalton Gomez. She's apparently been spending her quarantine with him as well and showed him off in the vid for Stuck With You. Although her new boyfriend is a realtor, I don't know if he helped her close the deals on her new mansions. At the time of this recording, Ariana's net worth is at an estimated $150 million. She's one of the highest paid celebrities and Forbes put her on the annual list of highest earning women in music, so I'm not surprised. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Ariana Grande calls home, like the two new mansions she just bought in Hollywood and Montecito, and more. Although the starlet has been renting for quite some time, we know Ari only likes the best of the best, so once you see these places, it'll make sense. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. If you guys are wondering where Ari used to live before dropping multi millions on two new California homes, she's actually been renting in LA for five years or more. The starlet has been mainly parked at a Mediterranean inspired mansion up in the Benedict Canyon area of Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, where she's usually surrounded by a team of bodyguards, assistants, glam squad members, and other helpers. We actually included this mega mansion in our Ariana house tour from last year, so if you want more details, you can go back and check that out. The walled and gated mansion spanned over 6,200 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 5.5 baths and was costing Ari an estimated 40k per month to live in. Since it was right up in the mountains, there were views of the canyon, hills, and LA skyline from the property. Inside, the beige colored villa boasted a huge kitchen with all the appliances, a spa style master bath with steam shower, and plenty of other mansion like features. Out back she had a stone terrace with space for entertaining or tanning and a large pool and spa. Either way, the estate served its purpose for Ariana's luxury lifestyle all these years. In addition to this massive Massive 90210 rental, the pop star also had long leased a second property in LA, this time a smaller spot in the mountains above Sherman Oaks. The two story house looks over the San Fernando Valley and has been occupied by one of Ariana's family members. Since we know that Ari bought two homes recently, it's possible the Montecito house will be for said family member, but who knows. It was reported that just last month Ari was still on an exhaustive house hunt that started back in 2019. With her new properties, it appears that search is over. Apparently she just wanted something worthy of her luxury taste. I told you, Ari only buys the best of the best, but I guess she's found it. It was just reported that Ariana now finally owns her very own mansion in LA and just looking at the place it's a celeb worthy to say the least. Located in the exclusive neighborhood known as the Bird Streets, her new place sits high above LA's iconic Sunset Strip in the Hollywood Hills. Despite how fancy this home is, it's a bit of a surprising purchase for Ari considering the property isn't as private as you may think. The entire home can be viewed from the streets below, most rooms are openly on display, and the front entryway is only inches from cars and pedestrians. On the other hand, it is one of the best areas around and her neighbors include the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Keanu Reeves, and some Walmart heiresses. Ariana's new Hollywood mansion has never been occupied but was completed two years ago in summer 2018. The property was developed by Woodbridge, a now non-existent investment group and Ponzi scheme founded by Robert Shapiro, and the home appeared on and off the market over the past few years. Although Ariana got the mansion at a discount for $13.7 it's still one of the priciest homes sold in Hollywood this year. Ari's new 
ultra contemporary mansion spans over 10,000 square feet of living space and has four beds and seven baths. The exterior is minimalistic and inside also shows a lot of clean lines and angles with hardwood floors and 16 foot ceilings throughout. In most of the rooms, you'll also find floor to ceiling windows allowing for a lot of natural light. From the street, large metal doors open up into an atrium that leads to an all glass front door. Walking in, you'll find common living areas with walls of glass overlooking the hills. The expansive kitchen has designer appliances and custom cabinets, and a double sided fireplace divides the living and dining rooms. Ariana's modern mansion covers three floors with all glass balconies, and her fancy master suite covers the entire top level. Here, there's everything from a lounge area to large private terrace and attached ensuite with dual vanities, toilets, and rainfall shower. Not to mention, Ari's massive walk in closet is boutique style with track lighting and looks more like the inside of a Louis Vuitton store. Aside from the guest rooms, there's also a home office. Moving to the lower level of her home, you'll find a cedar lined wellness center with sauna. A full gym, a home theater, a 300 bottle wine cellar, and a lavish bar perfect for entertaining. This level also offers floor to ceiling windows and pocketed walls that open up to the outdoor space. Like many surrounding homes, Ari's new estate doesn't have much of a yard or any landscaping really. But on one side of the mansion, there's a large patio for entertaining and an infinity edge swimming pool hanging over the hills, which is a definite feature of the property. The L shaped pool takes advantage of the amazing LA views, and the outdoor space can be easily accessed from the house thanks to the indoor. Or outdoor flow. Ariana's new Bonnard mansion may not be too private by celebrity standards, but she'll definitely be getting the best views of the canyon, city, and even the ocean. Just when you thought one multi-million dollar home was enough, only days after word broke about Ariana's new Hollywood mansion, the girl bought yet another property. I guess renting all those years had her prepared to make the most out of her real estate investments. Records confirm that Ari unexpectedly just shelled out another 6.75 million on the historic Porter House in Montecito, California, buying the estate off none other than Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. In fact, we actually looked at this home in the house tour we did on Ellen, and we know the couple loves buying, flipping, and selling fancy real estate, so I'm not surprised we're seeing it again. Located in the quieter area of Santa Barbara, California, Montecito is still an elite and exclusive neighborhood, occupied by the likes of Oprah Winfrey, Gwyneth Paltrow, Meg Ryan, and more. The Porter House was originally constructed in England back in the 1700s as two separate barns, and at some point the structures were dismantled and shipped to California, carefully rebuilt as a single mansion sized getaway. These days, the two structures are linked together by a glass enclosed solarium. Looking at Ari's second home purchase is decidedly different from the ultra modern Hollywood mansion she's just bought, looking more like a cozy cottage. The Tudor style residence spans over 5,500 square feet of living space with two beds, two full baths, and two half baths. Inside the property is full of rare vintage furniture and not one but two gorgeous kitchens, one equipped with a glass fronted fridge that's obviously top of the line expensive. Some of the home's fair Detail looking spaces include a massive living room, a uniquely shaped library with antique casing windows, and loft like den that overlooks the main living room with fireplace. The master bedroom here is also loft style, overlooking a second living room with fireplace. The ensuite master bath offers dual vanities and a soaking tub with a large window. Outside the porter house, you'll find perfectly landscaped and private gardens with stone pathways and brick terraces for lounging and dining. Like I mentioned, it may not be too surprising Ariana has bought another house so soon after her first big purchase. We know she was renting the other home for one of her family members, so it's quite possible one of these new investments is for the same person to live in. We'll just have to wait and see. And let's not forget that Ariana continues to maintain some property in New York City too. She bought her luxury Manhattan apartment when she was still with Pete Davidson, but it's thought that she was the one who paid the whopping $16 million price tag. Located in the posh complex designed by architect Zaha Hadid, Ari's penthouse sits in the trendy Chelsea area close to all of the action. It spans 4,000 square feet inside with five beds in 4.5 baths and boasts double height ceilings, a modern design, and beautiful views of the city and Empire State Building. The penthouse comes with a coveted rooftop terrace, which Ari has shown off on her Instagram before, as well as impressive amenities like a 75 foot indoor pool and one of the only IMAX theaters in a residential building in the world. If that's not enough, there's a wellness floor with a private spa, steam room, sauna, and plunge pool. Residents also have access to an automated valet system, private party space, and fitness center, so it's safe to say 
that whenever Ariana is in New York, she's still living in luxury. So that's all I've got for Ariana Grande's homes like her new super modern Hollywood Hills mansion and the other English Tudor style spot she just bought in Montecito. I mean, spending 20 million or more on two properties in such a short amount of time may sound a little crazy, but when you have fortune like Ari, it doesn't even break the bank. Not to mention the starlet has been renting for so long now it was about time she invested in a dream home or two. I'm an Ariana fan myself, so I was excited to look at her new mansions and I gotta say I like both of her new properties. They're on totally different ends of the spectrum design wise, but both impressive in their own way. I think I can picture Ari living in the Hollywood modern mansion more than the other one though, it just seems more her style. After looking at these places, which did you guys like best? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.